Oh, dearest Alma, it has been so long since I last laid eyes upon you as a statue, you idiot. I wish that I could have been blessed with the opportunity to meet you in life. You did, just now. There she is. But it was not to be. Hmm, sis. What? Why did he say it like that? Hmm, sis. Haha, <laughs> be still, young successor. Oh, it was her saying it. What? Wasn't his face showing? Whatever. But be still, young successor of the wings. Oh, what? Your time will come. Yet come. We've been looking forward to seeing you again, Master Ants. Is it the fairies? Oh, so you've come. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's been way too long since I last saw you, Master Ernst. I've been so lonely. Oh, how does he stick it in them? They would split open. I am deeply sorry for the delay that arose in welcoming you to this land. I hope that you will grant us your forgiveness. It matters not you performed more than sufficiently for my needs. Oh, <laughs> creating you is well worth the effort. Oh, Master Ernst, you're too kind. Just too kind, in fact. Haha, <laughs> setting that aside, what happened to him? If I'm not mistaken, I believe he posed a problem to you. Master Gay Goose certainly did pose a problem to us, yes. As well as another un unanticipated threat. He was this swordsman with really, really red hair. Like you, as a soulmate. Adol or whatever. I went to all the trouble of waking a monster up and he went and killed it. He defended my... defended... defeated my servant too. And well, he also managed to obtain the three keys. They're swords. Adol? Adol the Red? I see, it comes as no surprise that you struggle to deal with him. You know him, Master? I've heard rumours of him at least. So Adol the Red washed up here, did he? What a strange coincidence. This may prove to be more interesting than I'd anticipated. If you want to take on Addo, you're going to have to go through us first. Who are you lot? The Reddens? Oh, it's Doggy. And who might you two be? Haha! <laughs> Once a bandit, now a wanderer. The name's Doggy the War Crusher. Want to get your walls crushed? He hasn't got any. Haha, <laughs> now there is a fancy name for a pirate. Hey, hold on a minute. I don't remember ever joining your little pirate gang. I'll just do it to cause... I'm just here cause. We're after the same thing. That one is at least understandable while I misread it. Because I... I saw cause and thought, you know... Yeah, it makes sense. What? Oh, you... So you must be the renowned one-eyed Ladok, or is it merely his spirit which stands before me? Surviving the Great Vortex with your vessel intact is a feat so astonishing that the latter is more convincing. You're not half bad yourself. You showed your exceptional skill surrounding our ship with your fleet the way you did. I am honoured by your praise. Incidentally, might I ask what happened to the soldiers stationed outside? Probably dead. Huh. Oh, they're having a nice long nap. Which means you're the only one left. Everyone here's got a deep voice, it's annoying. They all sound the same. It seems the Roman army's only strength is its numbers after all. But no matter, that incompetent admiral and his equally inept men are of no use to me no are of use to me no longer. Perhaps I should be thanking you for sparing me the trouble of dealing with them myself. Oh, sounds like you've got quite the grand scheme planned in out in that noggin of yours. Noggin Well, whatever you got planned, you got no right to be dragging an innocent child into it. Hear hear, the little lady's gonna be coming with us. Who do these two think they are? That's more like it. How dare you oppose Master Ernst, you brute, you boorish brutes. Master, kindly leave this to us. No, these men deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. Regardless, while I were to make an exception for the key's successor, oh, Kingdom Hearts, I'm afraid I've no time to be playing with you. <gasps> They're dead! Oh, he's got a baseball bat. What the hell is that? It's a dangerous party trick you've got there. Gar! Oh yeah, should we talk like a pirate? Obviously. <laughs> There's no need to look so concerned. I have no intent on turning this sword on yourselves. In fact, I have a very different target in mind. Uh-oh. Oh, not the little girl. 
What are you doing? Statue or not, it's not right to hurt a lady, you know. Heh, <laughs> this is no mere statue. Why is his voice changed again now? This is a shell of white emulus left behind after the sublimation what? of a divinity. And the final most vital keystone holding shut the first the first the lid of the ark. But that roll ends now. <laughs> Didn't even hit it. He swung in its general direction. What the Yar, this isn't good. Ha 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 behold foolish pirates the winged pardon me the winged people's wisdom incarnate a mechanism to control the weather of the Atlas Ocean Oh it just controls weather, is that all? The Ark of Napishtim Uh oh Napish Tim Tim is quite nappish today. Whoa no one noticed that. That big rod. Oh shit, there's more coming. They're gonna hammer the island to pieces. Right, and just when you thought this game was getting near the end, all of these are individual towers that you have to go in. It might look ridiculous, but this is where the East games start getting long. Not really, not really. What was that? It had a sexy eye. Uh oh. Was that the beast of Isgrimor? What? Oh shit! Everyone's dead. As fudge nuts. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here! Oh! Don't fight it, you're just gonna get in trouble. Uh oh, it's coming for you. They're probably dead as well now. Yep. Oh well. Hopefully Pirate Girl was on one of those. No. Whoa, it exploded. No, it didn't. I don't know why that bit of wood was so important. Oh no. Looks pretty cool really, doesn't it? It does actually. Quite majestic. Ah, oh, the world exploded. Or something. It got mode 7 Oh great, the vortex is back. What was the point? Oh. How did we get here? Oh, we did. We went... Oh. Wait, how did they get here? Your the situation's gone from bad to worse. As soon as that arc surfaced, the great vortex came right back. And as if that weren't bad enough, the monster that annihilated the Roman fleet is circling the waters around it, yar. If we try to get too close, we're just going to end up joining them at the end at the bottom of the ocean. Bah, is there nothing we can do? Surely there must be something anything. What do you think we're all here for? But you know, I was hoping the redder would stay around a while longer. I'm sorry we couldn't save the girl at all. That's alright. At least I've got a hole. The best part. Oh, yeah, well, I've let you down big time, I know. I'm no happier about it than you are. Arr! But there wasn't anything we could have done. It were a miracle we were even able to get off that island by boat ourselves. That Ernst fella, or fella, it should be, we encountered makes me nervous. One look is enough to tell you he's in a league of his own. He seems to know the answers to all of the mysteries surrounding these islands. The nature of the Ark of Nepishtim, the Ark of Nepishtim, a giant creature circling it, the identity of the statue, and I bet he's using them all to play right into his hands. Well, he's no ordinary soldier, that's for sure. Just who is he, anyway? Oh, good, you're all here! How did you get up the stairs? Hey, Rabba, good job treating all the injured. What was that stop an old fool doing? What, who? Ask him himself, he's right here. 
Fortunately, his wound, oh, his wound seems to have closed. I left him to a hole after she returned so that I could come here. It's plain as ever to see that the situation here has taken a turn for the worse. You got a bit older as well. Can you share what information you have with me? <laughs> We'd be happy to. You might even be able to shed some new light on what we already know. Oh, hi. I'm here today now. I heard you were able to rescue all of the Red Hill captured. Chief Ward is extremely grateful for all that you've done. So am I, of course. Er, uh, is my apprentice, as you very well know. Thank you for saving him. That Roman commander had a huge jet black sword with him. It was a baseball bat. That thing wasn't your run-of-the-mill weapon either. The power it emitted was almost unlike anything I'd seen. Almost being the key word there. How much are you willing to bet that the only Tibet that the only weapons capable of competing with it are those three Emilus swords of yours? That Roman commander Dad was talking about sounds dangerous. He knows way too much about these islands for someone who's only just got here. What could he be up to? 